Hi PNG and welcome to another exciting show of In Warsby tonight. We're glad you can join us here tonight. It's going to be an exciting show. Segment two is something I'm sure everybody is looking forward to seeing. But to start off the show, Daryl took a trip up to Hall on the weekend, so we'll let him tell us all about it. Firstly, hi Daryl. How are you? It's all right. Forget about <laughs> me. I'm just like a shadow. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, it's not. How was your weekend? Oh, How was it was great. Girl? It was awesome. Um, I know you didn't have a lot of fun over the weekend because of your tooth. And, yeah, um, and I yeah, couldn't your, make it up to Hula. Your dentist visitation and whatnot. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good, but I yeah. need more exciting stuff. We yeah. had loads and loads of fun. Uh, we took some uh, really good shots over there. Uh, my, uh, a brother of mine, uh, Clement Alcopi. Uh, oh, yeah, big yeah. thanks to you. Big thanks to Clement and uh, his sister, Vakona. They took me up to their place, uh, their little hideout in Hula. Um, so in one weekend, I covered like five villages, I think. In one weekend, I went to uh, Hula, the main village. There's this other village called Makerupu, um, Babaka, Irupara, and there's one more I can't even remember now. But uh, anyways, you probably in this, in this package, <laughs> you'll see where we went. And um, yeah, so this is uh, my very lonely road trip over the Hula. Enjoy. Hello from Babaka and you're watching He must be tonight Welcome back, you're watching in Moresby tonight. On to something uh, different now. Um, if you remember last weekend, um, uh, I had a chat with uh, one of our mu music legends here in the country, yes. Borga Tao. And um, now we're going to go check out uh, part two of, be interesting. of my interview with Borga Tao. He's a legend, he's a legend. Yeah, he was actually my music teacher. Really? When I was a kid. What, yep. what, do you, what did you used to play? He taught me how to play the flute, the, the flute, piano. The piano? You know, a tambourine, a couple of musical instruments, but yeah, he's a legend. Can you play anything now? I still can. Mariana. You still can? <laughs> yeah, I can. Okay. When we find a flute, we'll, we'll probably show you a bit of what he taught me when I was in prime or preschool. Before we uh, end the show tonight, she'll probably sing a few notes and play something Not for us. Anyway, this is part two of Burkata's interview. Thanks for joining us on In Moresby tonight. How's it going? 
Very good, Daryl. Thank you very much. All right, now lots and lots of stuff happening um, in your world at the moment, but uh, let's bring things back a bit. Uh, let's start off with uh, you know introducing you to to the people that um, like the young kids that don't really know much about Burkata. Tell us who is Burkata and what what gets you ticking. Well, I've been a musician, and I'm a musician, about 35 years. Um, I started at the National Arts School. I tried to study music and that's where Sangoma came out. Unfortunately, I failed. And uh, but that drove me even harder. And I started learning on my own outside. Um, learning. I didn't have a piano, um, but I had to find a piano every time. I would go somewhere and find a piano and then start practicing. And I eventually ended up at Holiday Inn. But the, the National Arts School prepared me for that. Most at the same time we were developing Sangoma. And so, and uh, Holiday Inn was the avenue, which was then the Islander Hotel. Uh, I started practicing and harnessing my skills. Uh, and then from there it started I realized I was a musician after that. I enjoyed it. I think, I guess, that, that drove me to heights beyond. Because when there's a passion in you, it'll drive you, irrespective of no money, circumstances. You'll fight, you, you, you'll get to that level, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, now um, you've been a mus musician for like 35 years plus. Your general view on, on, on the industry, um, Take it from, you know, back in your day and the journey, how it's progressed through the years. I think we need to give credit when it's due to the music operators, Chin H Men, Pacific Gold, a um, lot of other studios. I think they've had a hand in helping <clears throat> in promote the music. Um, but all in fairness, there's also development on technology on the other side, yes, mm -hmm. which is moving very, very fast. And one of, the, one of the things I'm really afraid of is, is people not having skills because technology, people are easy to record, easy to just press the button. I'm not saying that's wrong, but I'm also saying that it's important for us to practice our instruments, yeah? So there's two, two stories, yeah? Now, 35 years, it's a long time in the industry. Yeah. What are some of the highlights that, like, the main highlight that, like, bring up to mind? Well, I think I started off with Sangoma, and of course working with a lot of bands around. This this place we're sitting down right now was the first hotel I played in years back. I was a bass bass player there. Okay. So um, and so. I started my career at the Islander Hotel, which is Holiday Inn now. And I was a resident pianist there, and also resident pianist at the Travel Lodge, which is now the Crown Plaza. And that's where I started harnessing my skills. Wait, were you um, at first a bass player before you went to piano, or? Oh, I was a bass player, but I think the need came when the piano played. I started to practice my piano, and I guess, uh, I guess that's when I started coming up as a pianist. Because I remember one of the first shows I did was the American Drifters. Um, I backed up the show at the Islander Hotel, which is now Holiday Inn. And I backed them up, yeah. That was one of my first international shows I did. And uh, it was uh, very special, really special. Now, with highlights in your career, you've probably met some uh, uh, pretty important people some interesting people along the way as well? Interesting, important, weird. Weird. Um, <laughs> it, lo it all looks good being a musician or being up front, but behind the scenes there are a lot of things because to me, 95% of the time you hang around. 5% you get on stage and do interviews and other stuff. But 95, it's like you guys hanging around with your cameras and, <laughs> are you ready? You know, that kind of stuff. So I mean, it's that kind of business yeah. we're into, yeah? All right, now um, to, to the more, to the present day at the moment. Um, 
one of one of your current projects that you've been part of uh, um, is working with the Shepherd Kids and the Shepherd Band. Um, they've recently, um, uh, you know, done really well in in Australia. They're probably the most hottest uh, independent or unsigned group going around Australia at the moment since Pearl Jam. I, I watched a couple of uh, interviews uh, um, a few months back. Yeah. Um, tell us about uh, working with the Shepherd Band personally for you. Well, I think the Shepherd is very special to me in my heart and my family. I taught Emma, George and Amy at the Elmar International School. They um, they had to move down south to do a boarding school down there. Mm -hmm. One day, uh, Mr. Shepherd rang me up and said, uh, listen, can we do some work with uh, the George, Emma, and Amy? And I said, Greg, you're better off taking somebody down in Australia. And uh, Greg was Adam that I was a person, right person to work with. And the kids, they went all out for me. That's how Shepherd started. I flew into Brisbane one time. Just started working on a few ideas on a song and one idea came up and another idea came up and stock started forming. They were doing the hard yards. All I was doing was just facilitating, inspiring them. And they delivered. Wow. And so it's uh I'll give them credit, I really do. I mean I I'm like anything else, you know, when you become a mentor, you just inspire people to grow. And that's what happened. Working with them, um, yourself and Shepard have, have hit a, a milestone. Um, you've recently received a Platinum Award, um, an ARIA Platinum Award. Uh, would you like to tell us about that? You it, must be stoked. Yeah, no, it. it's uh, when we got a Platinum, I, uh, I spoke to Greg on the phone. It was just beyond, and Michael Chug, um, would, all of us, would, you know, in our own ways, just over the moon. Michael Chug is one of the biggest promoters in the world. Chug Entertainment is, which Shepherds go under. And of course, Mr. Shepherd owns the Empire record label. That's, yeah, that's his own. Yeah, so, so to me, as a, as a mentor and musical director, I mean, I am over the moon. I mean, to get something like this here, I mean, that's, I, I, I'm speechless. Now that's great news. Um, tell us about uh, when you were working with your, your uni, you recently performed the tribute, uh, in the tribute concert. Tell us about your experiences. Oh, I tell you what, flying back into Darwin this time to do the tribute concert, I was, um, I was happy, I was sad, solid emotion. Because we lost a very dear friend and a brother, uh, Dr. Yunupingu. Of course, he was Australian of the year, too. Uh, when we rehearsal at the university in um, Darwin, well, that rehearsal room was on fire. You could literally feel the emotion. It was like electrifying. To me, the rehearsals were more powerful than the actual performance. The final song during the tribute concert um, was Treaty. Mm -hmm. There was a whole heap of people on stage. <laughs> How, what was that like for you? Oh, it was incredible. I mean, they, we had all, all sorts of, like um, Archie Roach, Hatcher Edwards, a lot of artists come and join us. And he, of course, you had the younger people. You had little kids come up on stage. That was deadly. My fingers were just walking all over the keyboard. I mean, I was just so fluid, you know what I mean? Because I felt so... It was one of the last times, like, I think, 
ausverformen. Das ist ja so But you know what happened? The manager, we met, met Peter Garrett. And Peter Garrett's the uh, lead singer for Midnight, Midnight Oil. Oil. Peter was the MC. That night? Yeah, he was the MC that night. I was just really awesome feeling. I mean, I just wish our people witnessed that. You know, it's emotion I can't explain. But just uh, being there in the life field was very powerful. There was um, Ben Hakalitz was on drums. And uh, Ira Ingram is a percussionist. He's from Mixed Australian from Gava Gava. Yes, yes. So it was three of us from Papua New Guinea. We held the fort. It was powerful stuff. Welcome back to the show. Now I'm joined on set here with Jackie from Lamana. How's it going? Oh, really good. Looking forward to this weekend. <laughs> yes, uh, speaking of this weekend, we mentioned it in the first segment. Now, big things happening at Lamana. Uh, Go Club, that is, uh, party capital of the South Pacific. Tell us all about it, Jackie. Well, we actually have the Party Rock crew, the original Party Rock dancers, the DJs. They're coming up here to perform on Saturday, so we're looking forward to this one. So I know there's a lot of people out there that call themselves Party Rockers. If you want to Party Rock with the original Party Rockers who are in those videos, you come along. We've got the DJ, you know, the Shufflebot, the guy with the box on the head. He's going to be here as well performing for you. We've got DJ Danger Zone. So they're all coming up here. They're going to be giving us a good party, and um, they come with props as well. So, so this is fun. They always they come with funnels, so all of you out there, you know what the funnel's for, I'm sure. There's a lot of um, fun to be had. They have uh, blow-up animals that they throw out in the party. So it's just basically a wild night of party rocking. If you watch the videos, you know how they party. So they're coming right here to the party capital of um, the South Pacific, the Gold Club. And uh, we're looking forward to having them here on Saturday. All right, great stuff. Now, what time do you think they're going to be uh, on, on, on stage? Well, what time do we need to be here? Well, you need to get yourselves here early because I know most of you will have to be at the front row. If you want to be catch all the action, make sure you're in the front row. Come in early, but um, they start performing around 10 o'clock, so make sure you get yourselves in early. And the best news is, because September is like the Independence uh, Month for us, we've decided that, ladies, it's free entry before 9 o'clock, so we're not doing anything else. Like, we're not raising the gate fee or anything. Ladies, before 9 o'clock, it's free entry. And uh, we also have um, non-members. It's still 25 kina. So this is the original Party Rockers coming. Don't miss out. This is like another weekend of partying, but with the real party animals. So come on down, members. You're the lucky ones. If you've got your gold card, just join us here. Flash that gold card at the gate and you're like in for free, but this is one night you do not want to miss. So all I'm saying is all you guys out there, get your party animal, well, party prints on, those animal prints, the fluoro prints. Just go crazy, go loud, because we're going to have a fun time this Saturday. It's going to be great. And um, yep. Yeah. also, um, do you have anything else happening here? Oh yeah, of course. Next Saturday, now we've got this Saturday, we've got the um, Party Rockers coming, but next Saturday we've also got the grand final of the Ice Buster Move competition. So, so far we're down to the six top crews of PNG. You've got to come and watch this because this is one show you don't want to miss out on. It's always happening right here at the Gold Club. Party capital, you know, we're living up to our reputation. Now Party Rockers this Saturday. Next weekend, Ice Buster Move grand final. And we've also got DJ Spin Easy all the way from New York coming to perform at that party. We got Etienne Funk, who's a well-known um, dancer, choreographer in Australia. He's been judging competitions there all his life. Well, he's a young guy, but I mean, <laughs> all his life. much of his life. <laughs> so he'll be up here as well, performing with the dancers. So there's a lot to be had. All you have to do is make sure you come on down to the Gold Club. And as I've said, ladies, you're the lucky ones. You get free entry before nine o'clock, so why not come along? I'm probably gonna wear a dress, but anyways. <laughs> that's feel free to do so. I mean, it's party rock night on Sunday. If you want to party rock as a woman, that's up to you. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people want to look at that. <laughs> All right, now um, uh, 
Before we go, uh, the Party Rock has actually put together a little something something for us. What is it? Well, they've decided to drop something for you guys here just to let you know that this is for real and these are the real guys in the video. So I'm sure I've, he's going to be showing you the clip right now. But this is one party you don't want to miss out on. We'll let the Party Rock guys tell you themselves. The party capital of the South Pacific. So love, baby. South, 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 Welcome back to the show. Unfortunately, time has caught up with us and it's time for us to leave. But before we do so, um, what's happening on the weekend? Do we have any Yes. <laughs> on the weekend? We have loads and loads happening on the weekend. Tomorrow night, you've got nothing to do. Like Jackie said, tomorrow we'll be totally bumping with the party rockers. They're the DJs for LMFAO. They got the box TV guy. Oh yeah, I'm sure all you kids know who they are. Yep. Been and rocking to the music. They'll be shuffling at uh, La Mana and as well as that, that Jesus character guy. They'll be there as well. And that hot chick, that Asian looking one. Okay, there. we'll stop there and we'll see you all La Mana tomorrow night. Tomorrow for night. those of you who can't make it, we'll, we'll, sh we'll be sure to bring highlights yes. for you next week. If you've missed any of our episodes, you can uh, follow us on Facebook and um, yeah, just find us on Facebook. We're more good tonight than the uh, new dresses on it. Okay. Oh, we, go. <laughs> we definitely have to go. Keep safe, Papua New Guinea. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the finals coming up. Cool, bye. There you go, the buddies.